So today I'm talking about a Kia with the P0016 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Kia P0016 code? What is a crankshaft position, camshaft position, correlation, bank one, sensor A? And what does this mean? Well, there's sensors, one located at the camshaft and one located at the crankshaft, and they monitor the location of them as they spin. And they're reporting this information back to the onboard computer and the computer seeing that they're off a little bit and that they're not matching up like they should and so it's gonna have to be troubleshooted and know why and one thing about the p0016 code that's a very common problem is that there's something going on inside the variable valve timing and so while this code can be some different things a problem in that variable valve timing is a very common problem with this code and oil flows through that variable valve timing so the first thing to go and do is to check the engine oil be sure it's not low be sure it's not really dirty because low oil or very dirty engine oil can clog up that variable valve timing and cause issues. So first thing to do, go check your engine oil and be sure it looks good. And if that looks good, the next thing to go and check is going to be the variable valve time solenoid. This is just a solenoid that slides in and out. And if it goes bad or more commonly get clogged up with old dirty oil, then it's going to cause issues. There's going to be some differences on exactly what's going on. It's going to depend on the year of the Kia the make and things like this. So it's always going to be a good idea to get a diagram for exactly what's going on inside of your engine. And it's also going to depend if it's a four cylinder or a six cylinder or things like this. If it is a six cylinder, then you want to find bank one. And bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder, that's going to be bank one. And the opposite of that is bank two. And this would be the side of the engine you're having problems with. If it's a four cylinder, then it's not going to matter. You only have one bank. But these variable valve timing solenoids, they quite commonly cause this code. So you can go and check these out. Be sure they're not all clogged up. You can test them if you want to. Be sure to check out this wiring going to them and that it's not damaged or anything like this. Because bad wiring, open short, anything like that can cause the same symptoms as a bad solenoid. These solenoids also work with what's called an actuator or sprocket, however you want to say it. This is what the timing chain or timing belt rides on. These usually don't go bad. They don't commonly go bad like those solenoids do, but they are part of that variable valve timing. So that is something to keep in mind is these actuators or sprockets because if they do go bad, then it can't cause this code. Another thing that could cause this is a bad timing belt or timing chain. And basically if it slips or something like that and knocks off the timing, then it's going to cause problems. Or if it becomes really old and stretched out, then it's going to cause issues. And the basic way you go about telling this is that there's going to be markers to check to see if everything lined up. For example, right here, here's a marker for this pin to line up right here. Here's a dot that lines up right here. And here's another dot that lines up right here. And all of these need to match up. And if they don't, if one's before or one's after or something like that, then that belt slipped and it's going to need to be replaced. Keep in mind if that belt's really super old and really stretched out, then it can also throw off the timing and cause problems. So that's something to keep in mind. And of course, a bad camshaft position sensor or crankshaft position sensor can also cause problems. The camshaft position sensors are going to be located up on top of the engine somewhere. And the crankshaft position sensor is going to be located down at the bottom of the engine around the crank somewhere. Again, it's always a good idea to get a diagram for your engine to know exactly what's going on, where the sensors are located and everything like this. But if one of these go bad or they're having an issue, then they can cause a P0016 code. You can test these sensors if you want to. There's some good YouTube videos on how you go about testing these. Some people just go ahead and swap these sensors out. Although some Kias will have a relearn process. Not all Kias have this, but some Kias have what's called a relearn process. And so the engine might not run right if you do swap these out without going through the relearn procedure. And it's going to vary and depend on the Kia what's going on with that. So, so it might be a good idea to research that. If it does have a relearn process, usually it's some kind of drive cycle you have to go through. Or if you have a really good OBD2 scan tool, quite often there's a relearn procedure inside of there for camshaft and crankshaft position sensors. Like I said, it's going to vary, but that is something to keep in mind that if you do just swap those out, they might have a relearn procedure that you have to go through before the engine runs correctly again. But a bad crank or camshaft position sensor can cause issues. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Kia with the P0016 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.